Hi, this is Bob Scully, and welcome to another edition of our show. Now, here's a thousand words in one picture for you, a whole era, as a matter of fact. That, as you probably recognize, is Tanya, so-called member of the so-called Symbionese Liberation Army in the 70s, doing a bank robbery. In fact, the Symbionese Liberation Army wasn't an army at all, and she wasn't a member of anything, not having freely decided to join. As we all recall, Patricia Hearst, Patty Hearst, was a victim. She was kidnapped at the age of 19 in 1974 by the group known as the SLA. She was a victim first of uh, physical abuse and torture, and eventually of mental abuse and torture, now very well known and observed as the Stockholm Syndrome, but it was quite stunning then. And to many observers, eventually became a victim of public opinion when she was judged, tried, judged, and found guilty um, of having committed criminal acts and sent to federal penitentiary, eventually pardoned in 79 by Jimmy Carter. So five years of hell, it's fair to say. And today, you are about to see a young suburban housewife. We get into that. She's not your typical suburban housewife, but certainly a very poised young woman discussing all this. Uh, a happily married woman, Patricia Hurst Shaw, is the mother of two young daughters, yet she can talk about all this um, freely, uh, not without difficulty, you'll note, um, but she has overcome all this, it's very clear, and I'm sure that um, you'll be as grateful as I am that she's talking, and I'm sure she'll impress you. She was in Manhattan. To say the least, um, and, and I had the impression, Patricia, that at some point they changed and it veered into, into outright sadism uh, um, at the outset. They saw themselves as political uh, activists, terrorists, and uh, they're, they're going to capture somebody from the ruling class and they're going to give the poor food and money and all that. It had a twisted logic, a criminal logic, if you like, uh, but then... Um, when that didn't work and they realized that, uh, especially with the rapes, the repeated acts of rape committed uh, against you, um, they realized that you were their property in a way, I thought then they really became like brutes. Uh, it changed and they became just sadists. Yes, and I think they were also very pleased that, um, you know, they had manipulated me to the point that I was willing to do practically anything for them. And apparently their leader had read lots of books on mind control and to some extent, um, to some extent seemed to know what he was doing. 